Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey. If anybody is new and joining me here for the first time, <laughs> thank you so much. My slogan is Believable Brown Beauty. I do live Instagram get blah, 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 blah. I do live Instagram get ready with me's on Sunday mornings at 9.30 GMT. I was laughing earlier because I forgot to say this bit. I will pop my Instagram handle for you here. Um, so yeah, check it out on Sundays. It's really good fun. And then now on to this week's tutorial. Okay, so no, you're not having deja vu if you just watched last week's video. I'm filming them both on the same day because priorities. And so um, seeing as the first one went so well and was just kind of easy for me to do. I thought I'm going to do this thing again. There will also be a timestamp because I talk for England. What I am doing today, same as last week, but I have a bowl here full of autumn makeup trends that I have seen and I'm going to pick some more and see what happens and see what makeup I can create. I am fast losing my light because it's almost, oh no, it's quarter past four. So I'm going to try and get through this one really quickly and come up with another cool look. So yeah, let's dig in. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go to my little box or my bowl and pick out another maybe one or two tags, not tags, a piece of the paper with like trends on and see what they say. I'm hoping it comes up with something much more interesting this time because the first look, like last week's makeup, was just a makeup I would wear anyway. So let's see what happens. And I show you guys the paper so you see oh what it says two came out that time do I put them both back and pick again or do I just go with I always pick my left hand because I'm left-handed fun fact so let's see what this one says oh okay gold eye makeup it's not really something I wear that much but it's not that difficult for me to do and let's see what else it comes up with oh another well three came out this time okay I'm gonna put them all back let's pick another one Please be something good. Blush. That was like a really pretty um, soft blush. That was a trend. So okay, so I've got an eye and a cheek. Let's see if it can come up with a lip for me. What does this one say? If it's another eye or cheek one, it is. This is a one shadow. So oh, I could do one gold shadow maybe. Let's see if I need a lip bowl. I need a lip. Okay. Black liner. No, we did that on the other one. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Simple waterline liner. We already have a lot of eyes. What am I doing? Gold with a pink blush, like a blushy look. And let's see if it's going to give me a lip. Aha! Finally! Brown lips. So, focus. That's what we're going to do. Let's get cracking. Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Oh no, I don't need to say this bit because I've played you the first bit already. This is all a bit disjointed. Okay, so I'm going to pick up from the first part of the video that you've seen. And today I'm going to do a tiny bit of skin prep um, on camera because I realise I don't really do that this much. So I am using ah uh, some products from Rodeal. This is the B Venom Ser Super Serum, and their B Venom range is like has got cult status. There are so many so many celebrities and stars that love this, and regular people. Like if you go online and look at the reviews, it's incredible. Now, I will say this: I haven't used this a lot. This is like one of the first few times that I'm using it, but it feels so good. So the B Venom range is all for anti aging, and yes. Who is not concerned about aging? Um, and so now I'm taking some of the B Venom Rodeal Moisturizer to revitalize and firm. And I'm just gonna use this as my skin prep today to wipe this in. So today's video is gonna be really quite quick and simple because I'm gonna keep it same as the makeup that I did for the first one, but then it got too dark and wasn't really any good to use. Skin prep. Oh. There's just something about putting moisturizer on, it just feels so nice. And then I'm gonna take a tiny little bit of lip balm from Glossier, this is the balm.com. And just work that in. So first, we're gonna move on to skin. I am taking a Zoeva 102 Silk Finish Brush, it's quite a big one, bigger than I normally use, but I have just filmed something for Instagram, so <laughs> I'm running low on clean brushes. I'm gonna pop on my concealer around my eyes. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Amand. And let this sit for a little while. 
whilst I work on the rest of my face. I really love these two. Thank you, Harry Makes it Up. If you don't follow her on Instagram or YouTube, you should. I'll leave her details below. She very kindly sent me these products because she had them as extra from LA and I really, really like them. They give a really glossy, dewy look to the skin, which you guys know I'm all about. And I mix between these two colors to get my perfect shade. So I also love that they've got really good coverage, but they look like skin. It's, 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 yeah. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a little bit like um, tongue tied about it, but it doesn't make sense because it feels super light on the skin, but the coverage of it is just really beautiful. And I love anything that looks like skin. So for me, this is really right up my street. So I'm just taking this big buff, buffing, <laughs> big buffing brush and blending this all on. Oh, my phone's going crazy. It always happens. No one ever messages me. As soon as I start filming, that's when everyone remembers Stace. So that's the first part done. Then I'm taking this, God, this is a really old 225 brush from MAC. It's just a big buffing, blending brush kind of thing to work my concealer in. Any brush will do. Um, a synthetic one will probably feel nicer, but this is all I have clean at the moment. So I'm going to blend this all in. This look I did, when I did it the first time, it was so quick, but so pretty. And so I'm just going to do exactly the same thing this time with better lighting. Then I'm going to go back, like always, to my foundation brush and just stipple and make sure that everything is seamless. And actually, I'm going to take a tiny bit of the 50, which is the rich colour in the stretch concealer, and just buff that into the centre of my forehead. I don't really like makeup on my forehead, but sometimes in my pictures I see like a few scars from old spots on my forehead, and I think, oh, you should have covered that, Stace. And this will just get rid of that. Ooh. Look at the skin, look at this. That is just the moisturiser and serum and the um, stretch concealers. They are beautiful. I need to buy more, I need these in my kit. Okay, and so then uh, let's move on to shadow. And I took my Pat McGrath um, Subliminal Platinum Bronze palette, but there's a colour in here that actually looks really golden on my skin tone. So if you are fairer than I am this will probably look more bronze but for me this was a treat and I literally use my finger because sometimes you don't always have brushes to hand and I feel like it's a more honest representation of how some people do makeup so I literally took my ring finger like this went into the palette and that was that oh I've done this the wrong way around I just <laughs> looking at myself putting this on I'm like Stace you haven't done your eyebrows yet Oh, and just, uh, excuse this, I'm going to cover that now, actually, that I've seen that close up too. I have a scab on the top lip from um, waxing my upper lip. Those beach drips, man, they are so strong. It happens to me pretty much every time. I forget that this part is so sensitive and it always tears my skin. And then I think I'm just going to take my concealer brush and just literally skim that over the edges just to make sure it's lovely and smooth. That's that. Then I'm gonna to go to my brows, which I should have done first. And I'm using my NYX Micro Brow Pencil, which I love. Um, I used to use a color called Espresso and it was a little bit too warm. This one I, I much prefer. It's like old fashioned spikes, the old Mac Spikes pencil that was perfect. This is it. And I like it because it doesn't cost the earth. I do like um, quite a lot of expensive products, but Brow pencils, I feel like if I can find a brow pencil that does the same thing for less money, oh, that was the gold finger. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with that. So I'm just brushing up my brows. I'm just filling them in where necessary. Okay, and whilst I remember, and I still have this little scab underneath my nose. I'm going to go back into my stretch concealers and take this Louise Young LY14 brush and just go between the two of them and disguise this a bit better. 
Okay, and then I literally, honestly, it was it's, this is a five minute makeup if you don't talk as much as I do and you're not doing it on YouTube. Took my Climax mascara and put my mascara on. just feel like with a gold eyeshadow you can never ever go wrong it always looks so beautiful okay so now I'm going to move on to my lips I think I'm going to use my fingers like I always do and take off the excess lip balm I'm going to take spunk lip pencil from NARS sorry I'm like a school child that word just always makes me laugh and fill in my lip well, not fill in, but like halfway fill my lips. Then I used Unveil from Fenty. This, I, this is one of my favourite makeup looks. It's one of the quickest and one of my favourites. And I just use this on top for my brown lip. and roll and then for a little bit of harmony on the face I just took a tiny bit of unveil on the cheeks go in with your foundation brush and buff that in I think I can do a bit more than that it's funny actually this is a really like strange brown because on the cheeks it looks a little pinker but on the on the lips, on my lips anyway, it looks really brown. Yeah, that looks good. Haha, <laughs> I love it. So nice. Right, so now I'm gonna I'm gonna put some more mascara on. So I really want to just have more mascara. I feel like sometimes when your makeup is really simple, you can afford to like go a bit over the top. Well, my kind of over the top in some areas. And do I put highlighter on? I don't think it needs it today. This stretch con concealer, this stretch concealer, honestly, is so gorgeous. So, um, yeah. That's it. This is like the strangest video ever that I think I've done. I'm going to just put some brow gel on actually. This is my Benefit 24 hour brow setter brow gel and just brush them up into place. There you go guys. That's it. Like I remember I have the same feeling as I, I have the same feeling now as I did the first time. I was just like, is that it? Like, that's the whole video, but literally that's what the bowl gave me and this is the makeup and this is the way it came out. And I think it is really beautiful, but so simple. So yeah, that's the end of this week's tutorial. Please leave me a comment, let me know what you thought. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your patience and um, just like hanging on in there with my inconsistency because work has been super crazy recently. Hopefully I've got, I've got a bit of time off in December, so maybe I can batch film for the foreseeable future and see what happens but yeah um don't forget to share with someone that you think would like this video thank you so much for your comments like the messages that I get on my Instagram and in my comment section on YouTube I really appreciate it, it means a lot to me guys um oh yeah what do I usually say because I'm out of practice because I haven't done this for a while if you liked it thumbs up if you loved it subscribe um Oh, and hey to all my new Brazilian followers and thank you, Tassio, once again for sharing me on your channel. That was so sweet. And I think that's it. Take care, guys, and I'll see you on next week's video. Or maybe I should stop saying next week. I'll see you on the next video. See ya. Bye.